Hello, and thanks for checking out Chemistry Connections on the Hopewell Valley Student Podcasting Network, a proud partner of HVSPN.com, where students come together to publish content to share with the world. The opinions represented within this episode are those of the content creators only. Please enjoy the show. Welcome to Chemistry Connections. Our names are Nathan and Lucas. And we are your hosts for episode number 10, called The Chemistry of Breaking Bad. Today we will be discussing how Mr. Walter White creates his signature blue map. In Breaking Bad, there are many episodes where chemistry is incorporated into the show. I mean, Walter himself is a chemistry teacher. So chemistry is what makes Breaking Bad Breaking Bad. In this episode, we are going to break down one of the most iconic props in the show. The blue crystals Walter cooks up. Now, if you did not know, Breaking Bad is a popular TV show in which the main character, Walter White, a high school chemistry teacher, starts creating drugs and selling them to make cash after he's informed that he has cancer. In this show, we're going to focus on how blue meth, aka methamphetamine, is made. And so basically, this is a step-by-step guide on how to make meth. No, 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 this is just speculating on how meth was make, made on the show. Anyways, throughout the story, two different methods of synthesis are used. The first method Walter uses is pseudoamphetamine. Okay, I definitely butchered that name. From now on, we're calling it Little Sud. Walter obtains Little Sud from the over-the-counter drug Sudafed. Sudafed is a decongestant which provides relief for your nose when it's Little Sud. And Little Sud is the main ing- active ingredient of Sudafed. And the reason Little Sud is used is because it has almost the same molecular formula as meth. So by combining red phosphorus, gathered from something like matchbox strike strips, and iodine, a person can create a strong acid, removing the little cluster of hydrogen and oxygen that separates Sudafed from meth. Little Sud's molecular, molecular formula is C10H15NO. While the molecular formula of meth is C10H15N. So as you can see, the molecular formula between these two are very close. This has a lot to do with bonding because methamphetamine, as well as little sud, contains carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, and oxygen. Those elements are commonly involved in covalent bonding. And reduction is also part of this reaction, and we're, we're familiar with reduction from redox reactions. Reduction is a chemical reaction that involves the gaining of electrons by one of the atoms involved in the reaction between two chemicals. The little sud substance undergoes reduction and turns into an N-methamphetamine. That's the first method that Walter uses. The second method is a synthesis method from phenylacetone, aka P2P. P2P has a similar shape to methamphetamine and pseudofed. It has a circular carbon loop called a phenyl ring with a short carbon neck and a few chemical groups in it. It's called a neck because it's narrower and shorter compared to the other parts of the molecule. So to convert P2P into meth, you just need to modify the attached chemical groups. But P2P is hard to get because the DEA knows that P2P is used to make meth. So what Mr. White makes his own P2P based on methylamine acetic acid and phenyl acetic acid. Methylamine is a, a colorless gas with a strong scent, frequently used in pharmaceuticals. Acetic acid is similar to methylamine, except it's a liquid with a similar scent to vinegar. And it's also used in pharmaceuticals. Phenyl acetic acid tends to be used in scents, and it's also found naturally in fruits. The first piece of equipment that's used in this process is called a tube furnace. And a tube furnace is pretty much an electric heater that's used to create compounds through synthesis and purifications. Next, reductive amination. I love animation. Okay, that's (laughs) that's such a bad joke. (laughs) Wow, Nathan. Anyways, 
Emination is the process by which an amine group is introduced into an organic molecule. Reductive amination is a form of amination that involves the conversion of a carbonyl group to an amine via an intermediate imine. The carbonyl group is most commonly a ketone or an aldehyde. And just saying, you should definitely not try to make meth. Making meth is a it's not that complicated of a process, but alpha chloracetone, one of, one of the ingredients of making meth, is an extremely powerful lacrimator that irritates your eyes and basically makes tears flow. And alpha chloracetone is used in regular old tear gas, so if any of it gets away from you, <laughs> you would surely regret it. And sorry to inform you, but even if you did ignore my warning and try to make meth, you won't get this blue meth because the blue meth that's in the show is most likely tinted. Sorry guys, I know we really disappointed you. And we like, we, we created this topic because we like watching Breaking Bad and we want to learn more about lab equipment that uses synthesized substances. We also like chemistry. We like and meth. Anyways, okay. anyways, go ahead. We think it's interesting because we use it allegedly. Alleg allegedly. Allegedly. We're also personally curious and we want to know how to make math for. Anyways, thank you for listening to this episode of Chemistry Connections. For more student RAM podcasts and digital content, make sure you visit www.hvspn.com. Thank you and see you later.